to sprinkle sugar pop if you are new welcome so in today's video we are going to talk about strawberries um this was like a very highly requested video so i'm super duper excited to share all this good information with you guys so i am bringing you guys along with me to shop around for strawberries i am at costco you do need a membership which is 50 dollars a year i believe it's 50 it's around there don't quote me on that but yeah it's it's around there which is not that bad you do get good deals from costco um so yeah so as you guys can see they do have strawberries but those are organic which are $13.99 <laughs> which is not a good price so before i head to the second store i am going to get a quick snack which will be a pizza and a chicken bake second location which is sam's club sam's club you do need a membership too <laughs> i'm so sorry you guys but this is where i normally um get my strawberries so yeah if you guys don't have a membership it's totally okay there is other stores where you don't need a membership and you'll find good strawberries um but yeah so here we are sam's club and no strawberries i was so upset so we are going to the third store which is Safeway. Safeway is another great store where to get your strawberries from. And also, you don't need a membership for this store. The brand I use is Driscoll's. For some reason, their strawberries are always fresh, super sweet, juicy. So it's just like the perfect strawberry, you know? Um, so how do you pick good strawberries? So you want to look at every single strawberry in the little container because... As you guys can see, the top ones, they look fresh or whatever, but the bottom ones, sometimes they don't look that fresh. <laughs> um, so, some strawberries have that little mushy thing, so that kind of tells you that the strawberries are getting old. Or not that old, but you know, they're getting there. Um, like for instance, this one is leaking, so that's not a good strawberry. But the other strawberries that are around that strawberry, those are good. So if this was the last strawberry box, it's totally okay to buy it. Just don't use that specific um, strawberry. This box right here is perfect. The strawberries are good. They don't have flaws. The only downside is that it only has like maybe around four big strawberries, which means we need to get more strawberry boxes to complete a dozen. Okay, so moving on, here I have three different types of strawberries. The first one is really, really old. As you can see, the skin is really ugly and the, uh, the leaves are very dry so do not use this strawberry this middle strawberry is okay to use but this strawberry will not last you more than two days fresh in the fridge this is the type of strawberry that you want to work with when it comes to chocolate covered strawberries you want your strawberries to be super firm and fresh and these strawberries will last up to a week or more fresh in the fridge. Moving on, this is how I wash my strawberries. There is another method that I will go over in a couple minutes. So this is what I use. I just do a couple drops not a couple drops but <laughs> maybe like three tablespoons and then just add your strawberries into the water and have them have like a little cute bath you know? <laughs> the other method that you can do is add a couple drops of vinegar and a couple tablespoons of salt 
recommend to wash your strawberries right after you're done melting your chocolate because your strawberries will last longer. This is the reason why you need to wash your strawberries really good because they do have a lot of dirt. Okay, so now it's time to rinse our strawberries. Make sure you go under the leaves. Okay, so now that your strawberries are fully dry and clean, you can start dipping your strawberries in chocolate. Okay, so moving on, now that we know how to pick and wash our strawberries, let's talk about chocolate-covered strawberries. How far in advance can I dip these strawberries? So this comes down to two things. How fast are you and how big is your order? Let's say your order is due at 12 and it's not a big order, it's just 12 strawberries and just like a simple drizzle and sprinkles then I say start like around 10 in the morning or even like 10 30 but once again if you are just a beginner then give yourself an extra hour and if your order is a little complicated give yourself another hour one thing I want to say is that do not dip your strawberries overnight or the day before just because once your strawberries are dipped in chocolate the strawberry life starts to decrease what I mean by this is the longer the chocolate, or not the chocolate, but the longer the strawberry is sitting there with chocolate, will start the condensation process, which means they will start leaking and they will start getting old and mushy. So that's why it's very important that when you're picking your strawberries at the store, make sure your strawberry box doesn't contain any strawberries that have leakage or mushy skin how to store your chocolate covered strawberries so let's say you finish 30 minutes before the pickup time you can just leave them on the kitchen counter but if your kitchen is too hot pop them in the fridge so before I forget, I do want to mention that strawberries are very delicate. So when you're running your errands, try to buy your strawberries at the end so your strawberries won't be sitting in your trunk for too long. And once you get home, pop them in the fridge as soon as possible. Your chocolate covered strawberries will last up to 24 hours fresh. After that, they will start to leak a lot, like they will bleed a lot. So, I mean, it also it depends on personal preference because I know someone <laughs> that likes to eat one or two day old strawberries. I personally don't like that. I prefer to eat my strawberries right away or within 24 hours, but it all comes down to personal preference. If you want to start a strawberry business or if you need help with your strawberry business, I do offer a online one-on-one -on -one coaching session. It's via Zoom and is 60 minutes long. I do tell you how to take pictures, how to grow your following, how Instagram's algorithm works, apps that I use to run my business, how to get more clients, where to buy your boxes, how I make and print my business cards and stickers, where to get inspo, how I stay organized with my orders, and much more. This coaching session is really, really helpful if you need help, if you're struggling. Um, I will be putting the link down below if you want to book a call. Also, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section or shoot me a DM on Instagram at SprinkleSugarPop. Okay, you guys, I think I pretty much covered all the basics. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Also, I want to ask you guys for a big favor. Comment down below any video suggestions. I want to create good content for you guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and God bless. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you.